Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story, it was sent to me by one of our admins. She was the one who helped us with this translation. So the translation reads like this. Hello, how are you? Can you please post my own story as anonymous? So I am a 38-year-old South African man. I am currently running my scrapyard here in Deben, but I used to run this scrapyard with my Zimbabwean friend. He is still here in South Africa, but as for his wife and his daughter, they have since left for Ireland. The wife is going to be a nurse there in Ireland. And my friend, he wants to go to Ireland as well. But I am like, no, you cannot do that. You cannot dump me like this. Because my friend, he convinced me this was in 2013 when he came and he started working for my father. At that time, he used to tell me a lot of stories about how there was some kind of witchcraft that can make you to become rich. Like in his village, he said that there was one witch who was known to give people some powers so that you can have good luck in your life and you can be rich. And at that time, I was still hustling. The problem came after I had moved and I had came to Houting and life did not work out for me. When I returned back home, that was when I found out that this guy, he was already driving a very nice car. He had already started running his small scrapyard. So I wanted to be in his business and he said that if I wanted to be in his business, we had to go to his country because he said that his business it had been strengthened by that same woman that she used to that he used to tell me about the first time when he started working for my father so brother nashi he convinced me and we went to zim when we went there we were then strengthened and the healer then gave us a snake yes we were given a snake so this snake it is a two-headed snake. The other head, it belongs to my Zimbabwean friend. And the other head, it belongs to me. So this traditional Ila told us that this snake, it was going to demand blood from us. And if the other part of the snake was going to demand the blood, then we had to check which head had said that it wanted blood. So when we came here, we started working and we started making money i do not want to lie to you i am a millionaire now so the problem came when this snake spoke for the first time and when we checked indeed we checked because this witch doctor who gave us this snake made some markings on the snake so that we can know that this part of the snake belongs to me the other part of the snake belongs to my zimbabwean friend so unfortunately then this the snake that spoke Unfortunately, the other part of the snake that spoke belongs to me. So this snake then said that it wanted blood. And we asked the snake, whose blood do you want? And it said that it wants the blood of my daughter. Yes, I then sacrificed my own daughter. After I had sacrificed my daughter, then it spoke again. And I honestly thought that maybe the next time around, that a sacrifice was going to be demanded from us then my friend was going to sacrifice his own daughter but no things did not happen like that it was in the year 2018 late 2018 that was when the snake spoke again and it demanded the blood of my son me and my wife we only had two kids and all of them i have since sacrificed them and my wife does not know anything as for my son the moment that we returned back to south africa with that snake he started to have a lot of those epileptic seizures and it was my ancestors that were fighting with me because of this creature the monster that i had brought into the family so my son then passed away he had a seizure we rushed him to the hospital but me and my friend already we knew that he had died for i had sacrificed him so we stayed like that from 2018 up until now he, he has not sacrificed anything he's just enjoying the money so i always asked him like do you mean that you are this lucky that the other side of the snake has not asked you to sacrifice anything or there is something my friend that you are not telling me but he just said that you are a man even if you want to have a thousand kids you can sleep with a thousand women 
all at once and you can make them to fall pregnant so that is what he told me he said just go around sleeping with any woman that wants to carry your child so that if there is another sacrifice from your side that wants to be done then you'll know that you'll be able to honor the part of your covenant as for me i am still waiting for the snake to tell me that it wants me to sacrifice my daughter oh yes when that day comes i am going to sacrifice my daughter so he convinced me from that time until now so now he wants to leave for ireland then said that since him and his wife they have a house here in south africa then the snake will be staying at their house because he is like a very big mansion so he said that he wants the snake to stay behind but i am scared me and him we are having a lot of arguments and at the same time that which doctor who gave us this snake said that we are not supposed to argue otherwise this snake it will start to fight against us i am scared that if he goes to ireland if he leaves this snake behind maybe he'll just sell his mansion behind my back he's not south african is he he can just fly from that country going back to his country so i do not want this monster to stay behind he has to carry this burden as well for two times i have been carrying this burden and yet he has been enjoying the money as for that which doctor told me not to worry for more blessings are going to come my way since i have already carried this burden twice it was not easy to see my wife crying as we were bearing two of our kids it left me with so much trauma in my heart dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear brother right there and dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sister who gave us this translation strange things indeed they do happen in this world can you just imagine so usually when you go to do these rituals with your friend you need to be very careful because behind the scenes maybe your friend will have spoken with the person that will be helping you so you will be the one that will be carrying the burden whilst your friend will be busy enjoying his or her life then there is another message that was sent to me by one of our dear brother the message reads like this hello brother nashi how are you can you please post my own story as hidden identity i have come here on your platform so that i can confess so i slept with my own daughters and these were part of the rituals and i do not feel proud about the things that i did so this is what i did brother nashi when i saw that life was really difficult for me i used to work as a truck driver and that was when dudula came to our company then they said that they did not want us guys from our company our boss had said that he was going to take all of his trucks and he was going to make them to have a zim rage and he will start to operate from zim but this was going to take a very long time he's still in that process he have since changed the trucks from south africa to zim 20 of them they now are operating from zim but i have since stopped working as a truck driver i then returned back home i had some money that i had so i said let me go to mozambique and maybe i can buy some second hand clothes then i can start selling those clothes and then my wife said this is going to take a very long time she then told me that in her own village she knew that there was this other traditional healer so we went there but unfortunately the traditional healer could not assist us we returned back to harare and when we returned back and that was when the when we returned back to harare that was when god led me to this other woman who is from malawi she is the one who assisted me i went there because i just wanted her to help me to speak with my ancestors just to speak with any of my ancestor who used to be rich so that he can return back to me and give me some of his riches and that woman then called my ancestors and she told me that my ancestors could not speak with me because there was so much blood in the family the family was supposed to be cleansed first so i then went and i 
spoke with my family members and I told them that I had communicated with our ancestors and our ancestors had said that they wanted to give us a great gift of wealth but the only problem that was stopping them from giving us this great gift of wealth it was because there was too much blood in the family so then the rest of my family members they refused they said that ah we are now christians you have to do that on your own so it was my wife and my kids we then went to that woman's house and we then did the traditional ceremony traditional beer was brewed and everything was done so this woman then gave me some charms that i was supposed to go and place on top of my father's grave so i did when i went and i placed those charms on top of my father's grave including a very old coin that i was supposed to return back to him and that was when i started making money i just met this other guy randomly who told me that he's involved in this other tender and he wanted me to be part of that tender brother nashi that is how i started making money so i made money for about a year until those charms that were given to me by that woman started speaking with me and when they spoke with me i could not understand what they were telling me because they speak in chewa i returned back to that woman and i showed her the charms she then translated everything that the charms were telling me the charms they said that they wanted me to marry my daughters to them so this was how i married off my daughters to these charms of mine i went with my daughters and i made them to lie on top of my father's grave whilst i was kneeling right next to the grave and then i started to insert some charms into their private parts and the one who is 19 years old was the one that i slept with physically the other ones i just inserted the charms inside their private parts i went on top of her and i slept with her and what i did brother nashi even right now it does not make me feel really good my wife was there she witnessed everything and she had been told that she was not supposed to cry otherwise our money was going to run dry dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear brother strange things indeed they do happen in this world yo